A new customer service center at JEA's new downtown headquarters officially opens today. Here's for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is there this morning. And Marilyn, the goal is an easy experience for JEA customers. Yes, and we're already starting to see a few people make their way on the inside. This seven-story, $95 million business aimed to be a one-stop shop for customers. You can pay your bills and meet with representatives to discuss ways that you can save money and learn more about your account. For customer service, JEA set up self-service kiosks. You can pay your bills there, and they accept cash, checks, credit and debit cards, and mobile wallets. You you will need your account number to get in. The machines don't give back change. Any extra will go back to your account. As of last month, there were two kiosks inside, but JEA hopes it'll go smoothly once people get used to working on those machines. If you need to speak with someone in person about your account, customers will have to download this app called QLess and reserve a time there. If you can't make an appointment, you can also make one in person if you can't go online. And we're ready, we're excited, and we can't wait to have everyone on board. And, you know, we still have all of our payment options as well all over the phone um, and online as well. No more lines. Um, you can come in, um, and you don't even have to walk inside to get into the queue. Um, from the comfort of your car, from your home, you can um, enter the queue, and then when, when we're ready for you, we'll give you a call or we'll send you a text message. And some news for Jack's viewers were concerned about parking. You know, this is a busy area. We got the courthouse right next door. Well, JEA says they will provide parking vouchers at the Duval County Courthouse parking garage, which is right on Clay Street. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.